Hello everyone and welcome back to Turmoil. You guys really seem to enjoy the first episode of Turmoil, so I'm going to do some more for you. I just recorded a couple minutes and um, I showed you all the stuff that, um, you know, I had to recap and things. And then I realized I wasn't even recording, so now I gotta do it over. Basically, I just went, um, I just went and did everything over again from the beginning. I skipped the tutorial and I did a couple, a couple rounds of oil drilling and stuff. And instead of losing $7,000 like I did last time, I actually gained $8,000. Um, so I'm doing a lot better. The reason I don't have much money now is because I went to this workshop and I bought a mole. Apparently you can buy moles to sniff for oil for you or something along those lines. So I said, you know what? The hell with it. We'll get ourselves a mole. It was $10,000, but he's totally gonna be worth it, okay? I noticed earlier when I was playing that if somebody buys something like an upgrade, it actually shows up by their name. So like Ricardo, I don't think has bought anything yet. But uh, I think Daisy and Blanche both bought the upgrade for Width, so I bought one too. I know it didn't turn out very well last time, but I figured out all you need to do really is get a bunch of horses, and then you're pretty good to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back to our um, go back to our area. Nope, we gotta we gotta get some land first. Okay, I hope it's not gonna be expensive because I was hoping to have enough money to actually go to my um, my piece of land and start drilling for oil. Okay, let's start off the bidding. I'm going to take this place right here. Boom. A thousand bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Now we can go. We just got to pay two thousand dollars and then oh see you see that right there He just bought a size two silo or whatever. I think it's a silo, right? Yep It's a silo just wanted to make sure because I do say a lot of words wrong sometimes So I want to double check on this one. Okay. I'm not buying anything off you today, buddy Okay, I don't have a whole lot of money left. We need to spend it wisely. We're taking two thousand dollars and we're gonna go drilling Okay, now we got a mole a hundred bucks and a mole will look for oil for you. Try your new mole. Click the mole icon. Thank you, Edward. You can go away now. Okay, fine. I'll buy the mole. Jeez. I mean, I buy things out. When you, when you buy something off somebody, they don't come to your house and like tell you to use it. You don't go to Best Buy, buy a TV, and the guy who sold it to you comes home and pokes you. Hey, you should watch a movie on your new TV. Come on, buddy. It'll be awesome. Click somewhere in the ground, the mole will uncover this spot and then dig around to uncover five more random spots. Fun fact, moles are not blind, just very stubborn. Okay, so I'm going to click here, I think, and then the mole is going to go down to that spot. And he's going to find out there's anything there. Okay, this is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. That's it? He, he, he uncovers a little tiny... Oh, hang on a second. Is that oil? I think I can see, like, the edge of some oil there. I think it must be on a right. Let's try it. Let's put down a rig right here. And then we will drag it down to this place. Because I'm pretty sure there's something there somewhere. You can see now it's kind of like a, a yellowy color there. So I'm pretty sure we can... Yep. We got it. It's a tiny one. But it's there. So let's just grab ourselves a horse. And start selling some oil. Mm. And I'm going to get one of these dowser guys to do some work for me too. Because I'm not really sure... Uh, it doesn't seem that moles are really that great at finding stuff. You know, it says that they're erratic, and they are, but this guy really knows what he's at, so let's let him do some work as well. Come on, bro. I don't have all day. There you go. We got it. Bye, rig. Um, I never really understood how this works, but apparently you can, um, you can, like, dig down, and then you can actually extend your pipes to other areas as well, so you can draw from, let's say, two places at once. So when you actually extend your pipe, you then have to upgrade it again. Like, the next pipe has to be upgraded as well before it can flow as fast as the other one. So, yeah, you got you got to spend a little bit of extra money if you put multiple pipes in. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. All I know is that red or right ink is selling it for 35 cents or buying it for 35 cents. And left is buying it for $1.43. So, obviously, we're sending our dudes over to left ink and getting some serious dough. I think I'm probably going to ramp up the uh, ramp up the speed on this one. We're going to have to put some more people there or else we're going to be screwed. But it wouldn't hurt to have faster oil, you know, drilling from this one because of the fact that the other one is only small. So I'll leave the other one the way it is, and we're just going to have to put a bunch of dudes in here or else we're going to overflow. But I mean, 150 bucks, you can just throw 150 bucks at it now and then. If it gets a bit too high and you can keep on going, you're good. The only problem I have is that when you get so much, um, you get so much oil drilled and then it stops working, there's no more oil left and you're basically left with a drill that does nothing. It's just, it's just hanging out there. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oil was about to overflow on that one, but we saved it. So we just got to throw some more horses at it. We're going down in price over here. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, geez, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Nobody's got, um, come on, buddy. Come on. You're not spilling. You're not spilling. Don't you dare spill anything. Horses, get the horses. Oh, shit. 
Okay, I need a silo in the middle because we're not going to be selling it for that price. Everybody go to the silo. To hell with left ink's prices and to hell with right ink's prices. They are trying to rip us off and I ain't having nothing to do with it. Come on, get that oil. Get that oil. Come on, baby. Come on, we don't want to spill. Spilling is really expensive. They, they fine you a lot if you spill oil. Apparently, it's a bad thing for the environment. I wouldn't know, okay? I'm just your friendly neighborhood dude who sells oil to people. Now you can see we already have 2700 bucks, so we're making a good profit off this thing because we took two grand with us. All we gotta do is make sure we don't spill and lose all our money. We seem to be doing pretty good because everybody is going for the one spot right now. I'm gonna have to put another dowser down. This, this one's already gone. Maybe we'll put a mole down like here, nice and far down, and then the mole can let us know if there's anything actually close to it. Because if there is, we can just extend the pipe and we won't have to worry too much about the fact that there's a random drill there with nothing to do with it. Here we go. What's the mole gonna do? Oh, there's something down there. All right. Can we even drill down that far? Isn't there like a a, a limit to how much you can drill? Hmm. Doesn't matter to me because it's working. To upgrade our pipes now, it's gonna cost us um, 450 bucks. Is that a good idea? What's up? You found some more? All right, I'll pop another one down, bro. Now this one has gone over here now, so we're gonna put another mole down and see if we can find some more uh, some more oil on that side. Are we still selling a right ink? Right ink is not giving us the best prices right now. I think left ink is giving us better prices. Oh, it's going up fast too. Oh shit, that's good stuff. I'm gonna upgrade these pipes, okay? So we can get faster oil drilling, cause, oh man, now we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the air to go down or something? I'm not really sure how this works. Something has happened and now the oil is gonna flow again. So we're all gonna grab that oil. Yes, I understand, sir. I need to put it down a little bit further. There you go. I don't know what to do when I have a whole lot of horses and not a whole lot of stuff for them to do. Cause like at one point it was really hectic and now it's not again. So I guess I should probably just upgrade these pipes as well so that the horses got something to do. They're gonna carry all the oil over there or to the silo depending on what's happening. But $1.36 is an excellent price. So we're just gonna keep on selling. Oh, it's the last month already. Okay, we need to beat 8,000 bucks cause that's what I got in the last one. And that was pretty good, okay? The top was 10,000 or 13,000, something like that. It was a pretty high number. I don't expect to get number one, but if I could get number two, I would be pretty proud of myself. Oh, I actually just noticed that the mole uncovered a little place down here. It's probably not worth drilling to right now. I'm gonna cancel it for now. We only have 15 days left. There's a lot of stuff going on, on the left side here, so I'm just gonna let it happen. There's two upgraded pipes there, so if we put any more in, we're just gonna lose money. But no, Left Ink is bringing down its prices. Come on, Right Ink, help me out, buddy. There's not even enough time to really deal with it now. Okay, we're reaching a point where we're passing the other one. So let's just go over to Right Ink for the next, like, week. There's only a week left. June 30, I think June is 30 days. I think that's one of the months with 30 days, perhaps. I don't know. Now let's see where all the oil is. There's a gigantic oil reserve right there. If I only knew, I could've got even more. But 10,000 bucks, man. 10,000 freaking bucks. And I was right, June 30th. So I got $789 spillage fine. That's no big deal. Could have been way worse, okay? Could have been $7,000. Hello there, I'm Rainer the Trainer. I take care of the horses, I keep them healthy and ready for work. Drop by my stables and maybe we can help each other out with some sexual foreplay and stuff. Or maybe he's just gonna, uh, what does he do? Oh, he upgrades the horses. That makes sense, because he said he does horse stuff. Do you want your horses to perform better? You've come to the right place. How much for an upgraded size? Way too much freaking money. Jesus. Hang on a second. Where the hell did all Joshua's money go? Josh, oh, here we go. <laughs> I got so worried for a second. The profits didn't come in yet. Look at that. I got second place. Apparently everyone had a really good run that time. That's cool, whatever. Now I still don't have enough money to upgrade my horses. So I guess we'll go back one more time. Are they putting a bar? in casino in this town because that is super freaking awesome and I'm excited for it I guess we gotta go back to the town hall and we gotta buy a new piece of land I think the numbers represent how much um how much oil was found there I think that's what we said last time I don't really know I'm gonna go with this place in the middle because why not okay so everybody got a counter and this guy also got the speed or something how much is a counter then if everyone's buying it 5,000 bucks. Keep check on how many horses you have with this horse counter. Are you serious right now? Horse counter? Really? You, you, you want me to pay $5,000 so I can keep track of how many horses I have? Well, here's the thing that I could do. I could count the horses myself instead, Rainer. Maybe that would be a good idea. I wouldn't have to give you 5,000 bucks. 
Jeez. I don't know why that's the thing. Maybe there's something else good to it, but I don't know what it is. All right. So let's stick a dowser here, a dowser here, and a mole in the middle. Because he can do around the side. So he'll get a decent size area in the middle. I could put a few moles down. Why not just put a few? It's only 100 bucks each. We got a lot of money. Okay. We only bring 2,000 with us, but this should be good. All right, here's the current situation. My dowser found oil somewhere. I don't know where. It must be pretty far down. I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah, there it is. All right, thank you very much, dowser, for doing your job. That's that's not bad. It looks like it's a pretty big oil spot. The one on the left is definitely pretty huge. Right now, we can't really afford anything, so we got to sell some oil. And then once we sell some oil, we should be able to start um, getting some more horses and start making some money real fast. we got enough money for another horse, so let's stick it down. Okay. Nobody's really got that great of a price right now, but what else can you do? I can't afford a silo. Those things are $250, man. I only got $45. Jeez. Oh my god. I just noticed that the moles didn't find anything. I put three moles down, and they found zero places to mine. 300 bucks down the drain, man. The hell with those guys. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of a, a risk here. Right now, Left Ink has good prices. They're going up. I'm going to upgrade this pipe. That could end in disaster, but I should be able to sell the oil fast enough to buy horses to take care of it, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The other place is actually overflowing, so you better you better get some oil out of that one. I'm not going to upgrade the pipe on the right. Only upgrading the pipe on the left. It's close to left ink right now. That's where the whole, you know, gamble comes in. But this guy's going to end up making an overflow because one of the guys went that way. Don't go to the right, man. I want you to stay on the left. Take your oil to left ink. Oh, wait. I got to bring up the four now because there's, there's more horses. Okay. That makes sense. I'm also going to stick a silo here somewhere. Maybe right there. There's a lot of stuff. There's, there's like nothing under it, so we should be all right. Come on, buddy. Come on, get that oil. Ah, it's spillage. We're spilling. Oh, God, we're spilling on both sides, guys. Spilling on both sides. No! Guys, what are you doing right now? Seriously. What? <sighs> all right, I think everything's starting to get under control now, guys. I don't know how we're doing here. The left ink is going down in price. Once it gets past like 80 cents, I'll cut them off and we'll start putting it in the silo instead. Or if right ink goes above the price first, that would also be an issue. Okay. Yeah, let's just start uh, withdrawing our assets here. I'll let the other guys do their job. Now we're just down to one dude left. And cool. Now you guys need to start putting it in the silo or at right ink. We'll stick a couple horses over on right. And we'll leave, let the rest of them go into the silo. Because if they all go to right, they're not going to have time to go back and stop that thing from overflowing. See, this guy's going over now to make sure it doesn't happen. This guy is a good guy. Prices are really low right now, so I've bought myself a second silo to put the oil in while we wait. I mean, 250 bucks for the silo, but like each thing of oil costs a lot more than that. So I'm hoping it's going to end up evening out and being a good thing. I'm not really sure. Am I doing okay? Am I doing okay, guys? Let me know in the comments if I'm doing okay or if I'm doing really bad. Okay, I won't get mad at you if you tell me that I'm sucking. All right, we're at the last month, and it looks like we're almost done with our left uh, drill. I'm assuming we're almost out of oil here, but I can't really tell because I can't see how big that thing is. Right now, I'm just waiting for it to run out so I can start putting um, better lines on the other one so that we can start getting oil from that one quicker. I don't want to do both at the same time because it's just going to end in a disaster. It always does. Anytime you have a whole lot of stuff coming up really fast, you're probably just going to get really screwed up by it. Come on, buddy. You can do this. Don't let it overflow. We can barely even keep it from overflowing now. We do definitely do not want to have two of those going at the same time. Come on, buddy. We also have a whole lot left in here. Can you turn them off? Can I just say, like, don't do that and make it stop? I can't. That's not a thing you can do. Once you drill, you drill, I guess. I'm confused, okay? I spend most of my time being confused. Right now, left is more expensive. Sell quickly. Yeah, we did okay. We got another $8,000. That's not too bad. We didn't spend a whole lot last time, so... See, look! It was, like, completely empty then. And my spillage fine was only $963. Not bad. I'm left with 7.4k profit. Let's see if the casino's gonna be in town now. Oh, shit! Hiya! Welcome to my bar! Make yourself comfortable and mingle with the crowd. They may have interesting offers for you. Also, I may just want to, you know, do some boozing. So here's everyone's current finances. I've got 18k, Ricardo's got 20k, Daisy has 17k, and Blanche has 25k. So I'm not doing too bad. I'm not in last place. I'm not doing amazing or anything. And it also depends on how much stuff you actually upgrade. And I decided not to upgrade 
my horse counter because it's a freaking horse counter and I really don't care about it. So, um, yeah, I guess it just keeps on going. I'm not even sure how long the game lasts, but you just keep upgrading stuff and keep making it better. You can upgrade your timer and your links and your size here. And then on the workshop, we have scanner, speed, and depth for finding oil. And over here, we have our horses. Okay, so we'll probably upgrade some stuff. If you guys want to tell me what you want to see me upgrade, there's certain things that you think would be good to upgrade, you can let me know down below in the comments. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.